Weekend. Oh, what did I say? What's up, guys? Max here, back from playing a whole freaking crap ton of Street Fighter V. I had the recent chance at TwitchCon to play a lot of the game which was from the Tokyo Game Show build, so sadly the character voices will not be in English, but thanks to the really awesome dudes at Capcom and their help, we were able to get live direct feed capture, and I have several videos that I want to go over. The first one today is going to be talking about some general stuff with Street Fighter V, this build, and of course, Ken. After that, we're going to talk about a lot of the changes that happen to the characters that you might have played within the beta of SF5, something about the future, and then of course, three specific matches of the guys I lost to while at a special event where I played over 60 dudes at Street Fighter V. It was absolutely awesome, and it gave me a huge opportunity to really tinker around with the combos and figure out what's going on with the characters that I want to play the most as, and that, of course, is including Ken, so let's get this stuff started. Of course, you guys know I made a video a little while ago in July when Ken debuted at Comic-Con. We got some pretty decent footage. I was able to learn him a little bit, but not too much, but that was the first version of Ken there was, and I was assuming that some stuff was going to change. For a quick refresher, Ken is kind of a unique character in in this game in comparison to any of his versions that you might have played from Street Fighter 3 and Street Fighter 4. While he does retain a lot of the move sets from those games, like the toe tap, the way his uh, a lot of his normals are, his V skill probably makes him the most unique, and his V skill was very good in the uh, the July build of Street Fighter 5, which was actually shown at Comic-Con. Now his run is a lot different. I'd like to talk about the things that are different from Ken, um, because that's the most important changes from before. If you guys want to check out the previous video of me talking all about Ken and his initial impressions, you can check out the video in the link in the description below. But let's talk about that V skill specifically. Um, Ken's V skill, if you hold the two medium buttons down, he does his toe tap from SF4 or Street Fighter 3 Third Strike. You might remember from the uh, Street Fighter 3 days that move was pretty bad. It was not very good in any way at all. In Street Fighter 4, it's actually one of his best tools. Um, in order to poke, get forward and do damage, it's really good for Kara throwing and a whole bunch of stuff, but sadly in Street Fighter 5, it's more similar to Street Fighter 3. Um, in Street Fighter 3, it doesn't cause a hard knockdown, but it does cause a hard knockdown in this game because it is his V skill, and if you do manage hitting with it, it does give you a nice little chunk of um, a V trigger gauge to build up. But the biggest problem with this thing is that I found it to be unsafe almost like 90% of the time. You have to be at like maximum distance in order to get this thing to land. And even on block, I wasn't too sure if it even built V-Trigger. So at the moment, I was kind of throwing it out trying to find uses for his toe tap uh, V skill. And I really couldn't find much in all honesty. Ken really builds his V-Trigger just through taking damage, which is... Kind of unfortunate because a lot of the V skills you use with other characters build towards your V trigger uh, in different ways than just like having to take damage. And Ken's is really hard, which is kind of unfortunate because when he is in V trigger, he becomes a lot of fun and he's a lot different. Similar to before, his hurricane kicks are actual Street Fighter hurricane kicks. If you guys have played the beta of Street Fighter V, you'll know that Ryu can't really cross up with Hurricane Kicks at all, which is kind of a staple of a lot of Street Fighter games. They've completely removed that from Ryu. They actually completely removed it from Ken as well, unless you're in V-Trigger. Ken's feet are on fire, and it actually becomes an amazing cross-up tool. It literally turns into, like, Super Turbo style, which becomes a lot of fun, and you get some really good mix-ups. So, Ken's V-Trigger is actually fantastic. It's, it's one of those things where most characters in their V-Trigger become very... Very, very interesting, and it's the same thing for Ken. His light uppercut practically has the frame data of a light uppercut in Super Street Fighter 4 or like Super Turbo. Insane recovery on Ken's light uppercut, and it causes a good amount of block stun, so it's practically safe on block a lot of the time unless you throw out like another uppercut. The other thing I really wanted to mention is Ken's V skill. Outside of the toe tap, you know, like I was saying, you hold it down to do the toe tap. If you do his regular run, which is what his normal V skill is, it doesn't build V trigger. Even if you cancel out of moves, it doesn't build V trigger at all. It is primarily a a utility used for rushdown, which is why Ken is very similar to like CVS2 style Ken, which you would either see in K groove or N groove, where he'd poke at you and rush in. But the greatest thing about Street Fighter V in the first build was that Ken could interrupt some of his normals and cancel them into his run, giving him extended pressure when up close, which was really fun. Um, the problem is in this game, it's been dramatically nerfed. He cannot apply as much pressure anymore, and I would say 
every single one of his moves, probably outside of, I'm gonna say maybe standing heavy punch, is unsafe. Like, st standing heavy punch is probably safe. I think you can actually run forward and block or maybe grab. But almost every single other move is dramatically unsafe now. If you wanted to do a sweep and cancel that into run, you could actually do that. But now it's a lot different. This is gonna be some technical terms for you guys that might not play Street Fighter games all the time, but try to hear me out. When you use the V skill and you're canceling out of a normal now, the entirety of the normal's animation needs to go through in this build that I played recently. That was different than the one that he appeared in July, where you can kind of like cancel some frames at the end and keep applying pressure. There wasn't infinite block strings, you can still kind of jab him out of it, but there's been moments where I will like cancel a standing heavy kick or a crouching heavy kick, which are a couple of his normals that have like the longest amount of recovery to them, and he still has to recover from the normal and then he runs out. If there is a cancel period that it's like taking the frames away from, then it's very, very, very minor in this build because you would never, ever, ever want to run forward after a standing heavy kick or a sweep. It'll get you punished every single time. They can just uppercut the shit out of you or just press buttons. Uh, and I was getting hit by stuff all the time when I was testing this out. Like I said, standing heavy punch was okay. Standing medium kick seemed okay. It's really a tool now to apply pressure when they're not expecting it. Ken's got some great pokes, like standing light kick is a fantastic poke. He has an amazing hit confirm, which brings me back to the days of Capcom versus SNK2 where you do like short short standing short crazy kick which was really really fun he now has crouching short standing jab standing short into heavy uppercut and it works against everybody it's a fantastic hit confirm it's super fun and he has another hit confirm which is equally as fun where you do crouching medium punch and then combo that into his target combo which would launch you now which I'll talk about in a second but you can do that into heavy uh, into heavy hurricane kick you can do that into heavy uppercut if you land two of these and you use the hurricane kick ender it's almost stun it's fantastic Ken does really good damage in this version of the game right now and he's a lot of fun and he's currently a lot more fun than Ryu which uh, got some dramatic changes which we'll talk about in another video but the other thing I did want to mention is that his target combo now launches which I'm like, wow, that's gonna nerf the crap out of Ken. Why would they do that? And while it did seem like a nerf, it actually isn't a nerf, which leads me to one of the weirdest things that we've run into Street Fighter so far. Something that was a nerf, but ends up being a buff. You better believe it, it's the very first time in Street Fighter V that I've experienced a burf. Since Ken's target combo now launches, I thought it was going to take away his ability to combo into hurricane kicks and to combo into like uppercuts, maybe do target combo fireball super. I assumed all that would be gone because of the juggle properties of the game. However, this thing seems to defy the juggle properties where you can only hit someone once in the air. Mostly because you can target combo, which launches, throw out a fireball, they sit on top of the fireball, and then you cancel the fireball into super, and for some reason the super will still hit. This is great! This is actually really good news because all the enders you would normally do after target combo, which are like heavy uppercut or heavy hurricane kick, still work just fine. And why this ends up being the greatest burf ever is that the target combo launches them a little bit higher so when you're in V-Trigger, you can get a light uppercut right after the target combo which already launched, so they're way up there now right after the light uppercut. You recover and you can get EX uppercut mid-screen. At one point, this was a very difficult combo to do in the previous builds and sometimes, I believe most of the time, required the corner. Now it's dramatically easier, but because they're being launched at the end of it, you can't use the target combo at the beginning of the combo. Some of you guys might have remembered my previous Ken video where I had that crazy, crazy, big-ass combo we found. That's kind of gone, uh, which isn't exactly a nerf. This version looks cool, it's fun to do, and I haven't found a better thing to do outside of um, kind of low forward fireball, V-Trigger cancel, which is where you mostly are going to be using V-Trigger with Ken after a fireball because it makes it safe and you can combo after. You go into target combo, light uppercut, and then EX uppercut. The damage isn't amazing, it's pretty good, but the best part is that it leaves you open for another setup right after. All in all, that's all I got for Ken right now, guys. There's a lot of stuff you can see throughout his gameplay of me performing in these matches, and I had an absolute blast with this character. He's still a lot of fun. I do hope that they do some stuff to his run. It was it was it was a lot of fun before. It didn't feel too overpowered once you knew what he was doing. 
but now there's almost zero reason to run around. Um, only to really catch people off guard because I feel in mid to low level play, the run is actually going to be a very good uh, V skill where you're going to sort of catch people off guard. They don't know when they're going to stop blocking and all this stuff, but then you realize that you kind of just mash crouching jab or you throw out an uppercut or you just tech grab and you can stop him from running at any given moment. There, I do hope that there's a button that's good to cancel from that can actually make the run kind of safe because it's a very fun offensive tool. I like being offensive with Ken in some way. And at the moment, that is kind of difficult. You sort of play him like a, uh, a very good poking character. His standing jab is fantastic. His standing short is an amazing button. His standing medium punch, also a great button. While some other stuff does need some retooling, I feel. He doesn't need to be amazing in all regards, but there is stuff like crazy kicks. There's almost no reason reason to do the crazy kicks right now because they can't be comboed after and the second crazy kick always tends to whiff on crouching and I get hit all the time from that thing so I don't know exactly why crazy kicks is there which is the medium kick to uh, hard kick target combo it looks really cool and I just kind of do it for the heck of it every once in a while just to see something different but you know, we'll see what happens. There's going to be a lot of changes happening to the characters. I do hope to see and play some changes that are going to be a bit different with Ken. I would not be surprised if we do get Ken in the next beta, which is a high possibility right now, that that version is going to be a much older version of Ken and not the one that I played now. So it's going to be very interesting to see how that turns out. But either way, guys, thank you a ton for watching. There's more Street Fighter V videos coming up within this week. Another character highlight that includes Nikali, because he was probably the second most character I played at the show um, and was the only chance I've had to play Nikali so far and I played a whole bunch of him a whole bunch of Ken and those are the two I focused on the most to get really good with and outside of that there's going to be the highlight video of the three matches of the guys that did beat me at the show which was really freaking fun and then alongside that there's another video that's going to be going over some of the other uh, matches we have and general gameplay of characters that were in the beta and some of the changes that they went through especially with uh, Kami, Nash, and Rhea you a lot of changes to all three of these characters and some stuff that is very unexpected and I might not understand completely why they made those changes either way guys thank you a ton for watching stay tuned more Street Fighter 5 coverage coming up very soon my name is Max and I'll see you next time